What's up guys, Jeremy Jones here, and I am so happy to be on this month's cover of Trans World, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. So, this is a named peak in the Himalayas. Uh, we think it's about 21,400 feet, and basically this is five weeks into this trip. It was the hardest thing I'd ever done before. Um, and it's, we were filming for my next film, Higher. What's interesting is the size of this face. Um, I've definitely ridden stuff this similar to this steepness before, but I've never ridden something this steep, this big. The size of the face is about 2,000 feet. The hard part with it is it actually like halfway down, it got a little bit steeper, unlike a lot of stuff flatten or gets a little bit less steep and that kind of that, that changes things a lot but this was definitely the hardest thing I've ever snowboarded down. Well the first time that I saw the you know what we're calling kind of the Shangri-La spine wall was uh, in a text from Jeremy he had sent over this this black and white image of this just insane looking face just massive spines just like you know photographer's dream I was just like holy shit. Right away, I knew that this was something special and something that I wanted to be a part of and something that I, I really wanted to photograph. You know, pretty much two and a half weeks trekking, you know, from, from Lukla through, you know, the, Ka the, the Kumbu Valley. You know, it's this crazy transition from Kathmandu where you, you go into these crazy hustle bustle. There's cars running everywhere, people on the streets to see the, the busyness, the craziness, the colorfulness, and then just to boom, be straight into the mountains. And uh, when we finally, you know, got all the way into Namche, which is kind of the gateway to the Himalaya, we, we got our first view of Everest and Lhotse and Ama de Blom, and it was just literally breathtaking. Uh, you know, it was, it was quite overwhelming, the sense of uh, how small you were in, in these mountains. You know, there, there's, there's such an energy there. We pretty much had four, four, clear, four somewhat clear days. Um, first day, Jeremy and Luca, you know, punched up, uh, through, found the way through the glacier, um, called it a day, came back down. The second day, they went all the way up to the ridge and rode their first lines kind of on the saddle, which was, which was awesome. They got some great snow. The third day, the guys had, had gone up to the peak, the top of the peak, and, uh, you know, we got shrouded out by clouds. The face was looking insane, blue sky, but this, these clouds just came and just shrouded out the face. So everywhere was clear except for you know, our Barbie angle on the glacier. And so um, the guys had to hike all the way down. It turned into them having like, you know, something like a 12, 13 hour day. They were completely exhausted. Our, our, our weather guy was like, oh, it doesn't look like you're gonna have a window. You know, there's a huge storm coming in. I don't see anything clearing for another week out, you know, and we, by that time we were already, you know, I think three days behind schedule. I'm not gonna come home with anything. We did this huge trip, you know, and just kind of all these thoughts are kind of going through my head. And, one of the Cine guys, uh, Nick Kalis, came down and was like, you know, Andrew, oh, dude, we just talked to the, the weather guy and, and, you know, he said there's going to be a small window tomorrow morning. We have a small window. Jeremy says he wants to do it. Um, you know, it's on. We're going to do it. And so I, you know, instantly, you know, the mood changed and I was stoked and I was like, oh, man, you know, there's a possibility that this really could happen and this is going to go down. Pretty much we uh, went to bed early that night and woke up extra early at like, I think it was like 4 a.m. It was great to see as I was getting up and I was, you know, the face came into you. I saw Jeremy and Figs up there and I was like, yes, this is going down. It took me three weeks just to strap into my first run in the Himalayas. The um, snow level's at 17,000 feet and to get acclimatized to that point is a long process. The snowboarding required so much energy that each turn was um, this major full body movement and um, it just zapped me of oxygen and felt like I was snowboarding underwater. And you know, it was, it was a, you know, a heavy, heavy experience watching him go down this because you know, he was on like the freaking space needle up there. I felt like I was in foreign land. I mean, I could have been on a different planet. Like I, I normally, when I get into the mountains, I have a, um, it kind of, it, my world, it become makes sense to me, no matter where I am in the world. It could be in, you know, Svalbard, close to the North Pole, or what have, Antarctica. But here, I just never, um, I felt like I was on a different planet. And uh, 
it was amazing. I remember strapping in and like looking across at Mount Everest and Lhotse and Burunse and, and really um, on the roof of the world, what they um, call the, the throne room of the mountain gods. Just to be surrounded by these places, by these monsters was, um, it was just surreal. We're all extremely happy when, you know, he came down and, and you know, shredded the last bit of the face and then came out on the glacier and was stoked and then literally like it was like right on cue you know 30 minutes after Jeremy you know did the line these clouds just went sucked back in on the face and it was just almost like you know uh, this face was like all right I'll let you guys in for just a sec and then boom you're gone that's all you're gonna get you know you know in my five-week trip in the Himalayas I think I um snowboarded four, four runs, um, but to me it's totally worth it, um, just to be in that part of the world in those mountains, um, you know, it was, uh, it was one of the coolest things I've ever done in snowboarding. You know, it was definitely for me uh, a trip of a lifetime, it was an amazing experience and I'm, I'm super stoked on the, the cover and I hope everyone enjoys uh, looking at all the, the photos. Um, and um, yeah, thanks again, Strandroll.